In this video for Elite Bridge Steel Connect Edition, we'll take a look at the Save DGN tool that's here on the, uh, on the Home tab. And what that will do is that will uh, refresh your most current uh, Elite Bridge Steel model and then give you the option to save that file in whatever folder you want to save it in. So I'll go ahead and save that file. It'll let me browse to that location and it's brought up on my other screen here but I'm going to go ahead and right click on the file and have it go ahead and open that up with MicroStation. Now you'll notice once the file opens up uh, that we see of course the very same bridge model in here once I fit the view and it should be noted that you know had you used a uh, an alignment and profile from let's say one of the Bentley Civil products and imported that in and, and located your bridge relative to that uh, this resulting structure here w should be in the correct coordinates XYZ or station offset however you like to think of it so if I go ahead and let's say take a look at this isometric view here you'll see we can uh, rotate this around and it essentially has all the elements uh, that we saw there in Leap Bridge Steel, including things like your cross frames and stiffeners um, and everything else. Now, it should be noted that we do put some intelligence on the elements here in the drawing. For example, if I select the uh, one of the girders here, rotate the view around so I can see it's selected. If I take a look at the element information here, it gives me information such as uh, the length of this, what, you know, whether it's an eye girder or a tub girder, what's the length of it. And then if I drill <coughs> down into this, so if I expand this out, I can see uh, that this is a built-up plate girder and it's going to tell me uh, the properties of the bottom flange, the top flange, and even the web. So for example, if I select the web, uh, I can see its height is 84 inches. Uh, what grade of steel was used and the other and the unit weight and other properties here but you'll notice the the uh, length and thickness of this varies so if I expand this out I can select individual uh, web panels and it will highlight those in the view and then tell me specifically for each of those what is their length and their thickness and you'll notice as I drill down through these we'll see those values change uh, as I walk along uh, the length of the beam. And that can be done not only for the web but of course the top and bottom flanges here as well. Or if we select let's say a cross frame and we go back to element information we can see everything there is to know about uh, that cross frame. Again the uh, grade of material that's used, the unit weight of it, the uh, length of it, what was the shape or of the uh, steel that was used for that cross frame uh, for each of the struts whether it was a top or bottom or, or one of the diagonals. So all that information is available to you here just even in a, a generic uh, microstation format. So uh, even with the deck here again its material properties, its length, its begin and end stations and the like are all uh, here as well. Now back to uh, Leap Steel, it should also be noted that just about every dialog here has uh, some sort of graphics in it. So for example, if I open up the Dex Lab window, you'll notice we have a, a graphical view of those Dex Labs and there's also a Save DGN button in here. And that's true of all the dialogs. Any dialog that has any graphics in it there will be a Save DGN button in there that you can select, name the file, put it in whatever folder you like, and save it off. So you always have that uh, option available to you here as well. So thank you for watching this video on the Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition, the Save DGN tool.